Today, I'm finally going to do a hair care video. The, probably the most asked question besides um, what color I use for my hair is how do I keep my hair so healthy after all the blow drying, the, the heat I use on it, and the teasing. I know a lot of people say that bleaching is damaging. Yes, it is damaging. And then people say that my hair is going to fall off and I'm going to have no hair. False. I've been bleaching my hair for over two years and it's nowhere near falling off. What you need to do, especially if you're bleaching your hair, is you have to take really good care of it. And by that, you need to at least do weekly conditioning treatments and you need to spend the money on good products to keep it healthy. You do have to understand that it's going to be so much maintenance. So, so, so much maintenance. Like, I cannot stress how much maintenance you're going to need to do on your hair but if you know you think the color you want is worth it like I do I definitely think all the the preparation and everything I have to do to maintain it is worth keeping my hair this bright and this healthy so this video is just strictly about what I use to keep my hair healthy so the first thing I'm going to start with is my shampoo and I know um, you've seen this on my uh, red hair care vi video or red color video. But um, this is the L'Oreal Absolute Repair. This is the bottle. And at the salon it cost me $30. For this one it cost me $30. And it, it looks like a small bottle but it actually lasts a few months. Um, as you know, if you're dyeing your hair, you're not supposed to wash your hair every single day, at least every other day or every two days. I wash my hair about three times a week, three to four times a week. Never every day though. So it lasts a while. And um, you don't need that much to put in your hair. This is the type that doesn't really foam up. So that's a good thing. <laughs> so you do get your money's worth. And then along with the shampoo, I buy the um, Absolute Repair Hair Mask. And this looks, I'll show you how it looks. It's like this, so it's kind of gunky and thick. And um, you need to leave it on for at least three to five minutes. This also, I believe, cost me, this cost me $31. The hair mask is like a miracle worker. You can literally feel it like, transforming your hair and I'm not being dramatic about that so th those are the two these are the two main ingredients to keeping my hair this way um it does bring a lot of the protein back in your hair and this is the cellular version because they have different versions you want to make sure to get the cellular version okay now the next item I'm going to show you it's called 12 benefits first of all it's in a cute pink bottle but um besides that it's a detangler but as well as a leave-in conditioner. If you didn't manage to get all your tangles out or you were in too much of a hurry, this is the perfect thing to use right after. And it's just like if anybody's ever bought a detangler or leave-in conditioner, you just spray it on wet hair and then you just brush it, you know, gently. And um, it smooths frizz, repairs damage, um, split ends as well, seals color, moisturizes hair, strengthens fragile hair, prevents flat iron damage, Prevents from chlorine, wind, and sun damage. Adds uh, shine, softness, and silky finish. Protects from blow drying. Improves texture and manageability. Anti-aging formula. So it's everything. Everything. So this can pretty much be your uh, heat protectant if you want to use that. Um, but I do say definitely get this. I love it. And it smells really good. And it lasts a long time. Now, I'm... I'm going to show you the next product. There's actually two products that I switch off and, uh, off and on from. So when I'll use one, probably about one week, and then the other the next week, you know, just to... I don't know, because I, I love both of them, so I want to use both of them. Um, but it's going to be the Peritin Keratin Fortifying Serum. And this helps bring in the shine to 
to your hair it makes it feel even so it may with everything that I have here it makes it feel really soft so you definitely want to get that um, if you have the extra money for it definitely get it I do suggest it and as well as the mythic oil I showed this in my pin curl tutorial this is really good for pin curls um, if you do the overnight process and your hair does frizz up this stuff is really great to help keep the frizz down and just bring all the curls together. And this is it, so the Mythic Oil. So I switch between these two. With these two products, the, th the only thing I suggest is that you don't go all the way down to your ends and I'll explain to you why right now when I show you the next product. But you're just going to want to put a small amount, put it um, at the roots and almost down to the tip of your hair. And the reason for that is because you're going to want to use the split remedy. Now I know that girl, uh, that video with the girl burning her hair off, This it's, it's in the same line but it's not going to burn your hair off. That was just a completely different thing, something that went wrong. But um, it's the Tresemme split remedy and this is just all you're going to need to use is a really, really small amount. So it's a pump like this and probably less than a dime size because all you're going to need it for are your ends. After you're done blow drying, run your fingers through your hair and you're going to feel how soft your tips are. It's it, My tips feel softer than the rest of my hair but the reason I don't put this on the rest of my hair is because it'll make it... Um, too thick. It'll feel like there's too much product in your hair. I've done it before and it just didn't turn out well. What it does is it it doesn't <clears throat> get rid of the split ends. It's kind of like a glue. It bonds your split ends together so they don't keep tearing and you just end up with a huge mess and more damaged hair. And the last product I'm going to show you this I used to use once every week but now I use it once every other week. And this is a deep condition. You you always want to use a deep conditioning treatment if you're if you're bleaching your hair. And this one is the Redken Extreme Strength Builder. And what I do is I'll leave it in for about 15 to 20 minutes. It's after you've showered and conditioned. You need to towel dry your hair a little bit, make sure it's not, you know, dripping wet. And you run that through your hair, cover it up, watch some TV or something. And once your 15, 20 minutes is up, just wash it out. This is definitely going to help with your hair. So you definitely want to deep condition your hair, if not every week, once every other week. And it's only one time, so it's not too much of a hassle. I hope you guys picked up a lot of information. I hope it was really helpful. I know I had a lot of questions on it, and I just wanted to make a video specifically for hair care and what I do. Again, this is what I do. Some of these products you probably tried and it didn't work out for you. I mean, everybody's hair is different, so some of the products are going to work great for people and some of the products are not going to work as great for people. But uh, this is what I do and this is how I keep my hair healthy the way I do and the way it stays so shiny. Again, I just really hope you guys benefited from this. Please don't let the whole your hair is going to fall off because you bleach your hair and you tease your hair so much and blah blah blah. Don't let that get to you. If you take care of your hair, then you have nothing to worry about. If you don't take care of your hair, well those are the people that are saying that your hair is going to fall off because that happened to them and they didn't take care of their hair. So, personal experience, this is my hair. My hair hasn't fall off, fallen off and it's so shiny and it's so great. Hey, thanks everybody for watching. Hope you guys liked it. Shiva, da 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 da